Hi, we're the Access team at Peter Valley College. to the Access Resource Center's remote orientation. My name is Kathy Ekpo and I am the Access Director. We are going to spend the next few minutes introducing you to some of our staff and sharing information about our program and services. So who are we? Formerly known as DSPS, we were created in 1978 to meet the academic and support needs of students with disabilities. Our goal is to help facilitate equal access for your success in meeting your education goals while you're here at Victor Valley College. One of the first people you may come in contact with is Corinne Brown. Corinne Brown will now introduce herself and assist you with your access journey. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Corinne Brown. I'm the clerical technician in the Access Resource Center at Victor Valley College. You will likely encounter me when you call in or email the Access Office with questions regarding scheduling or other services. Remember to give us a call if you have any questions or concerns regarding your college experience. We're here to help. A handy addition to our office is a work lab for doing homework scanning, and using alternative technology. Of course, this is only open during in-person on-campus times. Also, we typically have a tutor available during the spring and fall semesters to assist access students. So now we'll briefly discuss the application process for the access program. Application on the access webpage at vvc.edu under the Departments tab, and then Access. We currently do not have an online format for the application, so you will need to print it, complete it, and return it via email or fax. Be sure to include your documents of verification of disability, which are explained in the packet. Once your application has been received by our department, we will do a quick review. If everything looks good, We'll call, um, call or email you to schedule an eligibility appointment with Access. This appointment will be to determine your eligibility for our program. And now I'm going to hand you off to our wonderful Access counselors, Sherry Pierce and Evelyn Marquez, so they can explain what happens during the eligibility appointment process. Ladies. Hi, my name is Sherry Pierce. I'm one of the counselors in the ACCESS program. The counselors in ACCESS are here to help you with your disability related issues and the struggles that you might be encountering while you're taking classes at Victor Valley College. We provide a variety of different services to students with disabilities. Some of those services include digital recorders, mobility devices, interpreters, and those are just a few. Not everybody with a disability is the same, and so we'll develop a plan together to fit your needs, your individual needs. We have a document that we'll um, fill out together during our one of our first appointments together, and that document is called an an academic accommodation plan. This plan will list the different limitations that you experience and it will match them up with an accommodation that we have that may make things a bit easier. This plan that we will provide you with is something that you'll need to keep and show your instructors so that they know how to help you. Some of the services will be provided by our office and some of the services will be provided by the instructor in the classroom. Occasionally, we'll need to advocate for you because maybe the instructor doesn't understand the accommodations or 
doesn't know exactly what to do. We're here to help with that. So please come visit us and we'll get you started. Hi, my name is Evelyn Marquez and I'm an Access Counselor and Learning Disability Specialist. I wanted to take a moment to talk about our DBST 50 class, also known as the Learning Disabilities Assessment Course. This course is taught typically in summer and winter for students who are interested in getting tested for learning disabilities eligibility into the ACCESS program. The assessments used are tools that are utilized by the California Community College System. Some students that may want to consider taking this course are those who have an IEP and have not been tested for LD services after the age of 16 or individuals who believe they may have a learning disability and have never been tested. Access counselors are also here to help you with career planning. So that includes exploring the right major for you and discussing transfer options and requirements. We also provide disability management counseling. So we're here to help you be as successful as you can in your college courses, despite any educational limitations that could exist. We want you to do your best at BBC. Lastly, we're here to help you refer you out to appropriate services outside and at BBC, depending on your particular needs. This could include programs such as EOPS, CalWORKs, Department of Rehabilitation, or Mental Health Services. Now I'm going to transfer it over to our part-time counselor, Cynthia Navarro, to explain a bit more of what we do. Take it away, Cynthia. Thank you, Evelyn. As she mentioned, AXIS offers additional DBST courses. Aside from DBST 50, we also offer DBST 1, 2, and 3. Courses are designed to address language-based learning. These courses are intended for students with learning disabilities and other written language difficulties. We have DBST Math 4A and 4B. These courses are designed to assist students who have difficulty understanding and applying mathematical concepts. The DBST courses have been designed to meet the instructional needs of students with disabilities, and they are meant to prepare the students for certificate and degree programs. Students are encouraged to seek guidance and support services through the Access Resource Center. So what do we do? Besides providing specialized counseling, we also assist students with education plans. These plans are developed by the student and the counselor to identify the courses and requirements that the student must complete to attain their individual goal. We also help with registration assistance. Access students typically have priority registration. If a student needs one-on-one -on -one counseling to select and register, we are more than happy to help. Let's hear from Sandy Marino, our Access Accommodation Specialist. Hi, I'm Sandy Marino. I'm the Access Specialist here. A big part of my job is working with you, the student, in providing the various accommodations that have been approved by your counselor. That may include checking out equipment, such as Chromebooks, digital recorders, handheld magnifiers, or hearing amplification devices, as well as assisting with testing accommodations. If you feel that an approved piece of equipment would be beneficial during this period of remote learning, please contact me and we can discuss that. Since classes are currently being remote, uh, remotely and testing is online, extended testing time will likely be the most frequently needed accommodation for your classes at this time. If so, reach out to your instructor. Make them aware that you're a part of the ACCESS program and that you are approved for extra time on your tests and quizzes. You will also need to email them a copy of your accommodations passport, which indicates your approved extended testing time. If you need a copy of that, feel free to contact me at extension 2433 or call extension 2212 and we can get a copy emailed to you. With this information, the instructor will then be able to calculate the length of time that should be allowed for you to complete your test or your quiz. It's always a good idea, though, to contact them a day or two in advance to kindly remind them about the extra time. Oh, and just in case, to give you a heads up, 
If you do not have a computer or laptop with internet access, be on the lookout for an application on the VVC website beginning August 3rd or after, possibly, for a laptop that will include two years of free internet access. I look forward to talking to you. And now I'm going to hand it over to Nancy, who is our deaf and hard of hearing specialist. Hello, my name is Nancy Turner. I'm the deaf and hard of hearing specialist. I'm the person that you need to contact to schedule sign language interpreters and or captioning to facilitate communication for classes, meetings, and all events where deaf and hard of hearing students attend here at Victor Valley College. Requests for interpreting services should be made two weeks in advance to guarantee services. Check out the deaf and hard of hearing video for more details. My name is Elliot. I'm a sign language interpreter here at Victor Valley College. Due to the COVID-19 crisis, many of the classes have transferred online. To find out how to access sign language interpreting and closed captioning accommodations, please watch our Zoom meeting entitled, Distance Signing. This concludes our orientation. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to serving you. Yay. Bye. Yay. <laughs>